Fox News Democracy 2020, as promised, told you we'd take you for a spin on the touch screen here. Take a look at some of the key data in Arizona as we see the candidates campaigning in that state, which appears to be up for grabs in this election. You're looking here at Arizona's sixth congressional district. Obviously, a key um, poll just came out of the Ohio Predictive Insights poll showing a narrow margin uh, that the president is still leading by in that district, just a one-point lead there. I want to bring in Darren Shaw from the Fox News Decision Desk. And Darren, can you tell us? person who wins Phoenix has a huge leg up in carrying that state. Okay, so before I get to that, I want to flip to this last screen, and you can talk about this when I talk about Maricopa County, because more than half of the state's residents of Arizona are from Maricopa County. But here is sort of a breakdown of registered Republicans and Democrats in 2016. If I flip this screen to 2017, you'll see 35 percent to 30 percent Democrats. And that num that number has grown as far as registered Republicans and Democrats. Republicans stayed the same. The number of Democrats in that state has grown if you tally it out. In numbers, 270,000 additional Democrats there now, Darren. But to your point, looking specifically uh, at the map, when we break it down by county here and just how important Maricopa County is in Arizona, talk about what is happening there. We know that Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, their first uh, post-debate uh, campaign stop is going to be in this state today. And when you look at what happened back in 2016, President Trump squeezed out a very narrow victory there. You go back to 2012, Mitt Romney uh, pulled off an 11 point win there. So the president still won it in 2016, but it's very much in play this time around. What are you watching there? Well, Senator, your, your allusion to the demographic changes in the state and, and health care, they're concerned they're a little down on how the president's handled this stuff, and so they're open to Biden. That plus the demographic changes make this a pretty attractive target for them. Trump's going to have to really work to hold on to the state. Yeah, really interesting to see this play out, how jobs in the economy doesn't quite top the list. It's bringing the country together. Uh, that got 19 percent of the respondents there, but COVID, as I mentioned, still a big problem as well. Darren, it was great to take this spin on the touchscreen with you. Hope we can do it again. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you.